Ways to refuse giving her money. Hey. <laughs> there's, a, there's an insect. Hmm. Okay. Ways to refuse giving her money and still keep her interested. You're curious to know exactly how to do that, right? I got you today. I really got you today. If you ask me, yeah? Um, giving out money or lending money is a financial decision. It's not an emotional decision. So for starters, I believe that that's how you need to approach this whole situation, this whole conversation. Plus, if you're watching this video, chances are you have found yourself in a really precarious situation where a woman you really either really like or are dating constantly asks you for money. And really, if you ask me, relationships should be about give and take right? But at what threshold do you decide that your partner needs to start perhaps becoming more financially independent or more financially responsible? More often than not, I believe that you have received some kind of a request from a woman at a really awkward time, which just gives you more or less financial stress, right? Because at the end of the day, you have your budget, you earn the income that you do, and the plan was not maybe immediately to take care of others. And if this becomes like a constant thing that the woman's constantly asking you for money, then obviously this is gonna give you a lot of stress, might even make you lose interest in a potential relationship and all that there and then some. Plus there's also the other angle of the woman saying, hey, you know what, this guy seems to be a miser. So let me move on to another guy who's willing to splurge. And these are real life situations that people face out there on a daily. So if any of the things I talked about is you, is something that you're going through, I promise you, this video is for you. By the end of this video, I'm gonna give you five ways on how you can refuse giving her money and still keep her interested. And yeah, I'm sure that, you know, by the time it's done, you'll have some really good insight on that. So don't go anywhere, stay tuned. This is my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica. You are most welcome. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica. I'm a broadcaster, fitness enthusiast, biker girl, and a voice actor who lives in Accra, Ghana. And I'm really excited to come your way once again. Thank you so much for watching this channel. Now do me a favor, smash the like button even before we get into it, because today I'm about to dish out some serious pointers on how you can refuse the woman that you love, you know, refuse giving her money, and yet still keep her interested. Now, Let's get down to this. If the woman you're about to date or the woman you're dating is a gold digger, just take note that no matter what you do, no matter how many tips I give you on this video, chances are you'll lose her by the time you're done implementing this. So consider this as a relationship litmus test. Yes, it's gonna put your relationship through the ultimate test. But if you ask me, if she's a gold digger, why do you want her anyway? Let's jump right into tip number one. Now I blame guys. I blame guys a lot for um, women asking for money. I'll tell you why. See, there are a lot of you who um, splurge, are quick to sort of let her know that yes, you can afford this and you own that, you have this car, you live in this fancy house, you have this great job that pays you well. I mean, of course, in a bid to sort of win her love and attention, you try to show her that you are the man, right? Now, and as much as that is great, the other side to it is, not only is she seeing and hearing that you are the man, she's also seeing and hearing money, right? So you have a great job, money. You drive, what, a Mercedes Benz, money. You live in a fancy house because she's probably, you know, um, um, come to visit you before. You've rented a, a nice fancy property. Money. So essentially just looking at your life and all the things that surround you, all she sees, hears, interprets from everything you say is money. So if you're this great guy who has all these funds at your disposal, why can't she ask you for it? 
Just take note that you might be sending the wrong signal when you're trying to sort of establish the kind of person that you are um, um, for her. And if you're not fortunate enough to have a woman who has her own money and has her own pride, then I'm sorry, you're gonna be at the end of the rope where she's constantly asking you for loans for money. She'll never pay back because she thinks, oh, this guy likes me or we're dating, right? And she's just gonna take the whole relationship for granted and make it about money. Because after all, that's exactly what you've showed her, right? Mm -hmm. So you wanna tone down on discussing your financial status, right? Especially from the beginning of a relationship. You know, don't be too quick to open up to her. Look, listen, I, I met this guy one day who um, really liked me. And that, after our first date, I walked away knowing how much he earned. And I don't know if it was like a way for him to let me know that, hey, you know what, I can take care of you, right? But if I was the wrong type of woman who was all about the money, trust me, that would have been like, a green light to say, hey man, so uh, yeah, you know, I actually really wanted this thing and I was hoping you could get it for me, honey, darling, sugar. Yeah, you know, and then next thing uh, he knows, I'm pretty much milking him for everything that he has. So careful, be careful about that. Number two, I say suggest alternative ways for them to make income, right? So it's kind of like, um, don't give her a fish, teach her how to fish. Now, if, you're, if you find yourself with a woman who's constantly asking you for money, maybe it's about time you sit her down and let her know that, hey, you know what? If you do A, B, and C, you could be making money of your, on your own without having to ask me every single time. So yeah, teach her alternative ways to make money. Um, figure out what kind of woman she is. Maybe, just maybe, let's say you're even someone who's in a position to sort of set her up in some kind of a small um, business, right? Something that wouldn't break your bank. I think that you could go ahead and do that instead of always doling out cash to this woman who at the end of the day will probably just be taking you for granted and taking your kindness for weakness, <laughs> you know? Um, so that's something you can definitely look out for. Thirdly, when she asks you for money, Okay. Tell her to give you 24 hours to think about it. Listen, my guy, it's your money. Okay. It's your money. Don't feel compelled to be forced by someone's urgency, right? To get money from you. Like you're asking for a loan, right? Yeah. It's for an urgent thing, supposedly, but why should that be your headache? So ask for time. Now in the 24 hours, it gives you enough time to sort of um, contemplate on whether this is actually a good thing you're gonna do. Like, does she really need the money? Is it something that you can actually help with? Or do you think it's a frivolous request? Um, for that reason, your, 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 your answer would be a no, right? Um, give yourself 24 hours, fortify yourself and come back and tell her, babe, yeah, you know, I was kind of looking for this uh, looking forward to receiving this cash from someone who owes me, but they didn't give it to me. So unfortunately I can't help you today. So not only have you just said no, you've told her that, well, I would have helped you, but there's this other situation that I'm dealing with that I really, really need to, um, you know, get out of the way to be able to help you. So hopefully if the request is also urgent, she will find other urgent means. Mm, of satisfying the request is all I'm saying. She'll get her money elsewhere, right? Number four, I'm saying offer help in different ways, okay? So let's say um, maybe this lady wants money to go and get her hair done. Why don't you make it a little easier on her by actually just saying, oh, you know what, babe, I don't have the money now but I could, you know, maybe give you a ride to the salon and sit by you, you know, at least save you transportation costs if you're gonna go to the salon and get your hair and nails done. So find alternative ways to sort of um, help the situation. When you're able to give people alternatives, you know, or find other ways of helping them apart from um, actually physically parting with cash, um, you can save face there as well. 
So in this case where it's a girl that you're dating, a woman that you're dating or would like to date, she's asking you for money, you don't want to give it to her, simply, um, you know, just let her know that, okay, listen, I can't help you at the moment, but I could give you X, Y, or Z to make the situation that you're in a little better, right? And I can't be thinking for you. You know the situations that you encounter on a daily. So just use some of that to get out of this tricky um, corner that sometimes women can let, you know, back you up into. So good luck with that. Number five. <laughs> now number five makes me laugh because I can almost hear people screaming, but how about, I mean, if they're really desperate and really you're not in a position to help or you just don't want to help, why don't you consider or let them consider selling personal items to make up for the money they're looking for? Get this before you chew me up. Yeah, get this. There's some women who have like the latest iPhone, for instance, right? That iPhone costs how much? Like so much money. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're telling me, oh, you know, I don't have money today to do blah, 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 and blah, and blah. Yet, if they sold their iPhone and got a cheaper phone that costs less, they would have more than enough to jump this hurdle and, um, you know, actually take care of business. So if it's that, if they're that desperate, maybe selling a personal item um, would go a long way. Now, this isn't new to people at all. Like we hear stories of, for instance, our mothers when we were going through really hard times, selling pieces of clothing, you know, um, selling all sorts of things just to make ends meet. But it seems as if a lot of women today are just looking for the easiest way out to make money off men. And so if you're a guy and you feel like this isn't gonna be, uh, or her asking you for money is, you know, it's just getting out of hand. It's, it's becoming a regular occurrence and it's not something you can keep up with. Then perhaps look into that, you know, where are you telling her, you listen, listen, girl, like, you know, I'm really hard up at the moment, but I see that you have this um, item just sitting in your house doing nothing. How about finding a buyer for it, you know, selling it and taking care of your business? You could always buy it back when you make the money. And yeah, look her in the face. Like, don't be even scared. Don't be scared, just go ahead and say it. She'll respect you for it. And if she doesn't, like I'm saying, if any of these tips I just gave you don't work, then Charlie, it just means that the girl's not for you, you know? Chances are she'll walk away anyway. But you don't want to gold digger. You don't want a gold digger. Someone who will constantly be asking you for money, um, will, throw you, will be throwing you off your budget because you have your plans, but some way, somehow her plan is to make money off you, right? And then there are all those women who don't even work because they feel like, oh, you know, a man's gonna take care of me. Well, that's changing. I hope that this video was helpful. Um, if it was, don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to click on subscribe. If you haven't done so already, turn on all notifications so you get a post or you get a notification whenever I post. I'll appreciate that. My name is Jessica, thanks for watching and girl's gone, later.